In this video, I'm going to go over how to do prospecting in person or potentially if you're a service based business and you have a bunch of stops that you need to make throughout the course of your day, how can you be the most efficient at going in person to those stops? So we're going to first look at it from a prospecting perspective. And so I already have a search open here for construction companies here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And what I'd like to show you real quickly is if these are the businesses, now you could do some searching first, right? We could say, maybe we want to look for businesses that have a low reputation, right? Maybe we want to go prospect in person and we want to talk to them about reputation management. Or maybe what I can do is I can also say, so this one's pretty concentrated in this particular zip code, but maybe I could say, look, I'm going to be in these two zip codes today. And so these are the businesses that I would really like to, to reach out to. Now, with that being said, we're going to leave the zip codes wide open and we're just going to stay with this filter here to say, okay, today we're going to go out into the field. We're going to you know, reach out to and talk to businesses all about reputation management. And I know that these are the right businesses for me to go to because I've already done the filter here and says, okay, they're you know, rated a four or below. To put them on the route, it's as simple as just clicking this little icon that looks like a car and we can click as many of these as we want to. Let's say that's probably enough for today. And what we're gonna do is just then say, okay, let's go ahead and route that business. Now, you can see on this particular route, I've got eight total stops. We're gonna name this one Rep Reputation Management. I can never talk and type at the same time, but Reputation Management Prospecting, and we're gonna say, go ahead and build that route. It's now gonna redirect us over to the uh, route planner. The name of it's already in there. If we wanna add an additional stop, maybe wanna add our house of where we're gonna be starting and finishing our day. But let's just say we wanna start at TJS Contractors and we also wanna finish at TJS Contractors. All we have to do from there is go ahead and scroll down and just below this here on the page, you are gonna see, I'm gonna try to bring this up so we can see it, scroll down a little more. And here is a uh, button that says Optimize Route. Click that button. In just a moment, you're gonna see the route that we just planned pop up. Here's the route that we just planned. And when I click on view route, it's going to automatically open this up here inside of Google and uh, through Google Maps. And you can see here's the route that we need to take with all the stops that we're gonna be doing along the way. Uh, from here, we can select it by traveling by vehicle, by public transportation, walking, biking, etc. And if I just move this a little bit here, what you'll also see is over here on the left, you can very easily send these directions to your phone or copy the link and then just go through that route there in that way. Now, something else you can do with the route planner is again, maybe you already have a bunch of stops that you'd like to go to and you already have all the addresses. I'm just going to quickly build out a test one just to show you how it's the name of the route I'm going to give it. Once I give the route a name, I can start to type in addresses. And so I'm just going to if we want to name that address, we'll call this like Bill's Plumbing Store or something like that. Then we can go ahead and add that to the route. So that, that way there we know where it is that we're going. And as soon as you have three or more, we can start to optimize this. And once we can optimize this uh, route, then we just create a starting point and an ending point and then scroll on down here to the bottom and we have the optimize route button. And that is the way that you can create manual stops for yourself. And so here's the one that we just created and we'd click on that and be able to see the route automatically built out in Google Maps. So hopefully that is a tool that you'll be able to use a bunch. If you have any questions, you can see the page instructions on how to do that here. And of course, all the past routes that you've done will be right there listed in that section.